I'm here to salute Angela Lansbury and also to thank the Academy's Board of Governors for making what I think is one of the best decisions they've ever made. It was in August of 1943, exactly 70 years ago, that filming began at MGM on Gaslight. Angela Lansbury, age 17, about to be 18, stepped in front of a movie camera for the very first time. And she's been adding class and talent, beauty and intelligence to the world of movies ever since. Filming Gaslight was a defining time for her in many ways, one of the most important being that even though she was a beginner, the moment she stepped on that soundstage, the film star Ingrid Bergman and director George Cukor treated her not as a newcomer who'd never been in a movie before, but as an equal, a professional. And that's something that Angela says gave her enormous confidence, set her on a path that served her well ever since. After that came a wide variety of roles. She was a tough saloon, Tootsie in the American West. Then she would be a middle-aged British wife of Walter Pidgeon. She was Margaret O'Brien's school teacher in New York's Hell's Kitchen. And she was a rich and powerful Washington, D.C. power broker, helping to get Spencer Tracy elected president. Well, meanwhile, I'm going to movies in my little hometown of Colfax, Washington. And I'm sitting there thinking, my god, what a career she's got. She's got the ideal career, I thought. She's wonderful, she's attractive, and you never know how she's gonna, where she's gonna show up, what she's gonna play, what kind of part she's gonna do. I thought this is a perfect career. What I didn't know until later was that she wasn't all that keen about the way that movie career was going. She wanted more significant roles, understandable. She wanted meteor parts to play. But she continued on surviving, and more than that, making every film she was in look better and be infinitely more interesting. And when she did get a part with more meat on its bones, like in Manchurian Candidate, All Fall Down, she would deliver a punch to the senses that stunned us all. Her record in the theater and television is remarkable, but for those of us with a particular passion for movies, we thank you, Academy members and Board of Governors, for honoring this wonderful, magnificent career. May not have quite satisfied you, Angela, not yet anyway, but it certainly satisfied us. And meanwhile, the members of the Academy have been paying attention, certainly marveling at your talent, your versatility, and the work you do so seamlessly and so well. It's with the greatest pleasure that I also get to thank you for all the talented actors and directors and technicians and crew members that you've worked with and treated the way Ingrid Bergman and George Cukor treated you from day one on the set of Gaslight. It does make a world of difference. So dear Angie, when it comes to the art of acting and survival and dedication to one's craft, Nobody deserves this golden boy more than you. Now it's inscribed, if I can read it here, uh, to Angela Lansbury, an icon who has created some of cinema's most memorable characters, inspiring generations of actors. Miss Lansbury, here is your Academy Award at last.